Okay, this video is anaerobic glycolysis. Again, study design, we're looking at rate and capacity. So what is the rate, how fast, and the capacity. So how much energy does the uh, energy system produce? And also what are the fuels? So recapping, looking at anaerobic glycolysis, it is an anaerobic system, so it's no oxygen. When there is insufficient oxygen, we produce energy, we produce ATP via the anaerobic glycolysis and the ATP CP system to produce energy. When we're in oxygen deficit, when our body hasn't had time to catch up and, and um, increase the amount of oxygen supply to our, um, our demand. So looking at big picture stuff uh, to produce energy, yes, we use all three, ATP, CP, anaerobic glycolysis and aerobic. Our anaerobic glycolysis energy system, its only fuel source is carbohydrate. Uh, it uses carbohydrates to produce energy. It breaks it down into glucose and, uh, and we use that to give us energy. This slide shows us the waste products. So when we are using our anaerobic glycolysis to provide us with ATP, our glycogen's broken down into glucose, broken down into pyruvic acid, and again, insufficient oxygen, uh, we get our ATP. However, we also get lactic acid. We also produce lactic acid. That is a byproduct of using this energy system. Lactic acid is broken down into lactate, which as we're learning is not the bad guy, and hydrogen ions, H plus is hydrogen ions. And it's those hydrogen ions that when they accumulate, uh, it interferes with muscle contractions and inhibits performance. So this slides, in addition to what we described earlier with the lactic acid, it, uh, it shows that the, the fuel source that we use is glucose, which comes from carbohydrates, CHO. Uh, we don't need oxygen in order to pr produce ATP using this system. And it gives us a little bit more than the ATP system. It gives us about two to three ATP per molecule of, of glucose. And um, the duration, so the capacity, is, is much greater. It gives us around 30 to 60 seconds compared with only 10 to 15 seconds of the ATP CP system. So this is just another diagram illustrating that um, when we are working anaerobically, our fuel is carbohydrates broken down with insufficient oxygen, uh, we produce ATP and we also get lactic acid, lactate and don't forget our hydrogen ions. So looking at um, the purple line this time, I wonder if I have a purple pen, no, I've got a red pen. So looking at the purple line at the beginning of exercise, the um, all three energy systems are activated. Initially, because of oxygen, because our bodies are in oxygen deficit, most of our energy, 50% from the anaerobic glycolysis and about 40%, so that combined is 90%. So in the first like 20 seconds, 90% of our energy, our energy supply is being supplied anaerobically. Okay, so it's mainly used at the beginning, but as you can see, it starts to dip down because we start to um, either get an accumulation of hydrogen ions, which slows us down, or because the only fuel for anaerobic glycolysis is carbohydrates, um, that does... That does um, finish so um, that limits 
the use of that energy system if we don't have enough carbohydrates in our body. So this diagram is um, for somebody going um, over 100% of their um, VO2, which means that they're working anaerobically. So when it says that they are working at 100%, 110% of VO2 max, that means my pen's not working. Ah! So that means 110% of VO2 max means that, uh, sorry, you, I don't think you can see it. So this is 100% VO2 max. Uh, we are therefore working um, anaerobically as well. So as you can see with time, as time increases, to this here is two minutes. As you can see at two minutes, most of our energy, dugga, 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 nearly 70% is being, uh, of the, uh, the ATP being used is provided aerobically and less from our anaerobic glycolysis system. Lactic acid system is another name for anaerobic glycolysis. So it peaks at around 20, 20 seconds, 20 to 30 seconds, and, um, and, then, um, and then slowly declines. So going back to the rate and the capacity, so how fast and how much energy an aerobic glycolysis energy system provides, the race, the rate is quick. It's not as quick as the ATP, CP system, but it is still very quick. However, the yield or the capacity is, is very small and, uh, and is also finite. So looking at the anaerobic glyco glycolysis, the fuel is only glucose, only carbohydrates. As you can see, it's fast. It's a fast energy system. Not as fast as this one up here, but it's still fast. And... Um, However, although it's not as fast, the yield is bigger. So there is a bit of a pattern. The, s the slower the, um, the rate, so um, as the energy systems slow down, uh, they're actually producing more ATP. So the anaerobic glycolysis, it's still very fast and gives us about two to three um, ATPs for each molecule of glucose. Here's another table also showing that information. Here is a summary of um, the anaerobic glycolysis system. Uh, in a nutshell, it's anaerobic, no oxygen. It provides us with very fast, or not, not, not very, very fast, but still fast um, rate of energy. Uh, it only gives us a small yield, about two to three of ATP. Uh, it's finite, so it, um, it cannot last for hours and hours and hours. Um, the uh, byproducts of the system is lactic acid, which is broken down into lactate and the hydrogen ions, and it's the accumulation of hydrogen ions that uh, inhibit muscle contractions, which inhibits performance and causes athletes to slow down. Uh, so training this system, how do we train this system? We, because we know about the time frame of the energy system, we use that as, as for our duration. So for anaerobic glycolysis, anywhere from 10 seconds to a minute and a half is, um, is how we best train that system to produce ATP. The intensity is very high, so it's over uh, your lactate inflection point. So it's over, you're working um, anaerobically, so um, it's, it's still very high. Generally aerobic is 85% uh, or below. And our work to rest ratio, uh, we don't have as much rest as we do with the ATP-CP system because we want our bodies 
to experience that accumulation of lactate so we can build up some tolerance and um, and we can get more efficient at removing that lactate so we can work for longer until we reach that point. Uh, so the work to rest ratio is about one to two or one to three. And with this energy system, we want an active recovery to help uh, use our body pump and our muscles to help increase the amount of oxygen to muscles and to remove the waste products, to remove the lactate, to remove the, the hydrogen ions um, so that there is less of a build up uh, so that we can perform at higher intensities for longer. So the methods we use are short interval training, speed training, these are training methods. Uh, the intensity is above 85%, so it's pretty hard. Uh, durations 30 to 90 seconds or 10 to 90 and we have an active.